Today we're going to be talking about Helldivers 2, a game that's more popular than crack cocaine in the 1980s. So yeah, we've got some drama involving Helldivers 2, and the devs, a patch, and the players. We've got some things that were said, some apologies that were made, and a nice sort of, just this whole thing was nicely rounded out, so I think at this point, we can make a video out of it, we can draw some conclusions, and we can talk about where things are going to be going from here. But just to, just to put this out there, I don't think anyone should be fired, nobody's running some sort of concentration camp here, it's just a few naughty comments that were made online. So, before people get their pitchforks out, go put it away, and sit down to listen to this video, or... Spread some democracy while you listen to this video, because that is better. Anyways, let's get into it. So, Arrowhead developers for Helldivers dropped a Helldivers 2 patch. And that patch went over about as well as COVID restrictions in Florida. So basically what happened is the patch nerfed some things. And now players are always going to complain, even if the patch made everything better. If God came out and said he was nerfing wedges so they don't hurt anymore, there'd be someone annoyed because their fetish just got ruined. That's the way that the world works. When you got over a million people playing a game, someone's going to get upset about something, and when you nerf weapons, there's a lot of someone's who are going to get upset about that. So the players got all upset about the patch, and the devs decided to respond. So their responses were a little bit less PR friendly than um, the PR team would probably like. So here we go, we're going to get into it. So first off, this is one person's comment. People were having fun with some weapons and not others. We made sure the no weapons will be fun anymore. This is in like quotation marks and this person's making it like the devs said that. And then they said devs got to be mental. So this is a person basically pretending to quote the developers. Then the developer responds, or a programmer responds, if winning 100% without a challenge is your definition of fun, I would re recommend idle RPG games. Then you don't have to do anything. And that person responded, you are and your colleagues are laughable. I don't know why they're attacking the colleagues, even though it's just one person who said it, but whatever. Why are you even responding to people in this Discord right now? You apes should know your reaction, the reaction you were about to get. And now you just sit in here throwing fuel on the fire like some sort of man-child. This dev team really is something else. Sorry, I disagree with your dog shit decision. So yeah, this person's obviously not trying to get a reaction. They're being completely reasonable. They're not calling anybody names or doing anything bad. Then the dev responds, just play easiest difficulty. Then you will get a power fantasy game with where you are an immortal god. You want me to reorder difficulty so it tells you that you are playing the hardest version of the game when it's actually the easiest? And then another person responded, this guy is a PR disaster. The, the person was right, honestly. Let's be honest, like, programmers in general are PR disasters. I've worked with a few. We're going to go over that. Anyways, and then the dev responded, I'm out here. Get good. Play easiest if you want to win. Send in a ticket and complain to HR. <laughs> and complain. And HR might have a meeting with me. So at this point, the dev sort of knows what's going to happen. They probably just didn't know it was going to get so big. And then to... Uh, yeah, that, that, that sort of finished off that conversation right there. That's all the clips that we've got. But basically what happened, there was a nice little conversation, a little exchange between the developer and a player. And in the end, they said, you're probably going to report me to HR, right? And to that, the player said, maybe, but they posted on Reddit, which got a lot more attention. Now, there's another developer that made a few other comments on Reddit. Um, there was a mod that also commented, man, watching you all cry amuses me so much, which is just, you know, that's that's adding fuel to the fire, but let's be honest, I, I don't know, like, mods on the Discord, are they working for the company, are they paid, like, ooh, who knows, it could just be some random who has a little bit of power going a little nuts, I don't know, anyways, there was also a comment on Reddit from an official Arrowhead developer, I'm feeding the rage a little for my own entertainment here, just so you know, that's definitely not something PR wants you to say before you make any statement, but hey, it is what it is, they said then, we haven't nerfed anything into the ground. I just think it's a little too early to pretend like the game is figured out. We made two of the most brainless playstyles less viable and brought the guns that are under slash overperforming more in line with the rest. The game is only a couple of weeks old, so before we start making sweeping changes, we want everything roughly where we intended from the start. That doesn't mean we won't bring things up when we know more about how people play the game. And this got negative 422 upvotes or got negative they got 422 downvotes at least probably more than that but yeah that's they, honestly their their comment is pretty good if they just remove that part about brainless play styles because there were a lot of people using those brainless play styles and let's be honest it's really nice to play hell divers a little bit brainlessly a lot of you are probably doing that while you listen to this video but you, you don't want devs to call you out for it next up they commented 
on a, a post that said buffs are coming. So this, that was just the title. And then it said discussion. That was a tag. Dev said, haha, buffs, sure. Enjoy your crutches while they last. And then they added it in like a slash ass. So I, th- I think there they were just trying to meme and, you know, people took it the wrong way. But it got, it got 83 upvotes. So few you didn't, few you did. It is what it is. Anyways, um, to finish things off, the dev who had that nice little discussion with another player commented, I think once dust settles, the parts of the community that enjoyed dev interaction up to this point might be in for some disappointing times. And they're right here. Like This, this dev is 100% on point because this is just how it works with companies. Companies tend to, small companies at least, I've worked with a few, they put programmers up front and center, they let them talk to people and everything goes well for a little bit. And then programmers do the thing that programmers do, and they don't stick their foot in their mouth when they should. They just decide to blurt something out. That's completely idiotic. So I, I worked with the guy, right? Like, we were on the phone with a client. You know, good client, pays a lot of money to the company. And the client's going over an idea that they had. This idea wasn't the best idea, and um, the developer I was with, who was a senior developer, I was a junior at the time, decided to bring it up in a very interesting way after the client was done explaining their idea and waited to hear our input the developer said are you two brain shells are you two brain cells short of and then they used the r word at the, at the time there, there was no real like it wasn't the r word it was just a word but they used that and um they said this this idea is the worst idea i've ever heard how could you even think this is a good idea i can't believe they let you get on the phone with me now you know, telling someone that an idea is not that great is always something that you gotta, you gotta go around. You gotta do it gently. You gotta let someone down easy, especially if they're giving you money, especially if they're, you know, paying your company for you to develop these ideas. Call, calling them two brain cells short of neurodivergent is probably not the best way to go about it. But this is how that developer chose to express their ideas or their feelings. Anyways, we got called into a manager's office shortly after that conversation and we all agreed that programmers or developers would no longer be on the phones with clients which it was just probably for the best because honestly there are a lot of people there who are pretty weird and even if they're not making like an offhanded remark that's going to get someone upset they're, they're probably making remarks that aren't that great now from a player perspective in a game like this that does hurt right because the thing is The less people you have at a company to communicate with, the less communication you're going to get with that company. This seems obvious, but a lot of people seem to just forget that. And when you're communicating with developers, you're not... When you're communicating with programmers, I should say, you're not communicating with someone who's PR trained or who who has any sort of training as far as how to deliver messages. They're just telling you what they think, and you're getting some unfiltered stuff from this, right? Like... YouTubers, even when they fight back and forth on Twitter or anything like that, you don't really see anything too bad in those tweets most of the time because they're they're fairly, like, they they know what's going on with social media. That's the facts of, like, just anyone who uses social media. A lot of programmers, they don't really have Facebook. They don't have Twitter. They don't have, they don't have any of this stuff. Like, they're just sitting in Discord or maybe they had, like, a Google Circles account or something like that back in 2013 and that was their only experience with social media, right? Like, a lot of these people, they don't exactly know how things work. And they're a little rough around the edges when it comes to communication. And then you you get comments that aren't the best. Um, It is the nature of the beast. It's just how things go. Honestly, looking at this, if this was a conversation just between two players, it wouldn't even be a big deal. It blew up because one's a developer, and a lot of people feel like developers have more power over the players, when in reality they don't. There's no developer out there who's going to be able to just nerf a specific player, do anything to a player, or even any of these changes, right? Like, Arrowhead and Helldivers, it's a big enough game that for any changes to go through, a developer's got to bring it up. Like, you, they, they can't do anything, right? Like, all they did is they probably worked on this patch. This person probably worked overnight. They were probably working late. They were trying to get something out to improve the game. They're getting so much good feedback. Maybe their colleagues are getting good feedback. They had some idea like, hey, we need to nerf this weapon to balance things better. And then they release it, and all of a sudden they're getting all this hate. And it's someone who's not used to it, right? Like, I've, I've done YouTube for a while. Every now and then, I put out a banger of a video. It gets some traction, and then all of a sudden, I get some hate. That's just how it works, right? Like, maybe this video goes up, and a bunch of people are going to watch it, and they're going to comment how shitty I am. It, it, it doesn't make my day any better. It really doesn't. But I've been doing YouTube for a while. I've been doing this for, like, 11 years. So at this point, you, you can't really say too much to me that hasn't been said. And I can just... I, I can I can I can close the app and forget about the comment and just write it off because I know that's how the internet works. 
a lot of developers, they don't realize that. They feel like they're talking to people who are having a conversation with them in the street. And they get upset about things. And, you know, they, they want their ideas to be heard and they're upset that players aren't hearing them. And it's just a thing, okay? But basically, we shouldn't hate on devs for this. This is just how it works. You're getting raw humans here. You're getting people that aren't so polished, that aren't so, like, plumped up or anything like that. You're getting text and words that aren't so thought out. And that's almost a good thing because it's refreshing to see. It's better to see this. It's better to know what they're actually thinking than to get some PR statement that's like, we're sorry you disagree with this nerf, but we think that in the long term, you're actually going to like that. You can see here what happened was basically they thought that these guns were too easy. They thought that the play styles were a little bit too lazy and they wanted players to be a little bit more active when they were playing the game. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that. I think the way that they said it could have been... It could have been better, but you get where they're going with this, and I like the fact that they do that. Anyways, the devs apology was pretty, like, standard run-of-the-mill apology, but they, you know, it's not like they filmed bodies in a forest. And then, you know, if they did that, they'd probably go on to be a major success and make, you know, a billion-dollar company or something. We're not going to talk about that. Anyways, this is a response. I acted like an ass, had a temper tantrum, realized that was a shit thing to do both the community and to myself, so now I'm trying, I'm here, trying to slowly make amends. <laughs> After that, they said, nah, I'm not expecting anyone to forgive me, by, by just me coming back and saying sorry, earning trust back is harder than earning it in the first place. I honestly don't think there's any trust to be earned back, this person was just, they were, they were venting, they were, they were venting their frustrations, you know, they said some things that weren't the nicest, but I, I, don't, I don't think there's any lost trust there. They didn't actually lie to us. They were actually doing the opposite of that. In fact, the, this, the, this gives me more trust in what this person says because you're, you know, you're getting the facts here. Next up, I got to earn my respect first and hopefully I can bring some amounts of Arrowhead with me. I acted like an ass to people, no denying that, and I don't want to pretend it didn't happen either. I will just try my best to earn respect back. Yes, I made that statement while being way too pissed off. Not a very chill attitude from me. And finally, I can agree, not going to pretend I didn't act like an ass. So basically, this person is just coming back and saying sorry. I, I think people should honestly move on. I don't think this was that big of a deal. I don't even think this person really needed to say sorry. Like, they could have come back and said, hey, I was a little harsh. Sorry about that. Maybe apologize to the dude that they were communicating with. But at the same time, the guy also called them apes and a bunch of other mean things. So it's not like they weren't going back and forth. If we go back and forth and you're flaming me, I'm flaming you. At the end of the day, like, both of us look like asshats. And we should just call it a day and not bring it up again. Because we're, we're acting like children. And it's the internet. So there's a chance I am actually arguing with a child. Which makes it even worse because I'm a grown-ass man. But... Yeah, it, it is what it is. I I don't know, like, people saying that someone should get fired over this and all of that, like, no, the, the dude's job is to make a good game, and we've got a good game. If it's not so well-rounded around, if, if their comments aren't as well-rounded around the edges as we'd like, let it go. Honestly, people keep complaining making big deals about dev statements. What's going to happen is you're just not going to hear from the devs, and that's not a world we want to live in. So honestly... Here's what I say. I applaud Arrowhead for letting the developers talk freely, and I applaud the developers for actually coming around, saying sorry, and having, like, a nice, like, throughout the whole discussion, there, there wasn't that much name-calling, there wasn't that much, like, flame fanning. It, it was just some standard run-of-the-mill stuff where people gave their ideas, and, you know, they were, they were just a little bit crude about it. Anyways, I appreciate the Arrowhead developers. I, I appreciate communications like this. So I say, um... Alright, don't apologize. Keep doing it. Until next time, peace.